Alright, Shalom. It's the brothers from Ajima, North Carolina. Came back with another video. Shalom. Shalom. Before we go any further, like give all praise on their glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the Apostles and Elders, a great Muslim, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful like of the nation of Israel. You know, through the Spirit and Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, was able to get up with the brothers, you know. We're going to do a lesson to the Shalom. spirit. And it's going to be how the nation of Israel, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the chosen people of the Yahweh by Shema Shai, And he's chosen us to be above all these other nations. Mm -hmm, Pretty much. Go ahead, bro. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Yo, I'm starting at 1 and 1 and then up to 7. Got you. Right. I know what you mean. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words mm -hmm. which Moses spake unto all Israel on the side of Jordan in the wilderness. Son, so the word, the book of Deuteronomy was written, are the road, are the words that were written to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel today are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. And the confusion of faces which are Israelites scattered abroad that can receive this word. And also, the ones that are in the world, you know, they're still Israelites. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Topel, Topel and Laban, and Hezerah, and Dazara, Dazahar, Dazahar, mm -hmm. Dazahar. All right. Go ahead, bro. This is Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Okay. No, I saw that, brother. So it said, For thou, we all know that thou is the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. It says, For thou are a holy people. And that word, if you look at that word holy, the blue letter means to set apart. Right. Pretty much. So the Lord set apart the children of Israel from all these other nations. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy power. Mm -hmm. And the Lord thy power have chosen thee. Con. So Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, thy power, because he's our power have chosen us, you know? Right. Go ahead. To be a special. To be a special, go ahead. People unto himself. To be a special people unto himself. So how about, we're the Lord's chosen people, and he's chosen us out of all these other nations. He didn't choose the so-called white man and give him his law, statute, and commandments. He didn't choose the so-called um, Arabs. Right. Do the Africans. You know, those Arabs, and give them the law, statute, and commandments of the Bible. He gave them to the children of Israel, unto the people who he loves. And then when you look up that word special, it means um, best of its kind. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Chosen. That's yep. right. And that's why the children of Israel do everything the best. Right. That's why we're the trendsetters. That's right. That's why we're um in this. That's why you got Jake. You got Jake getting shut down the street, but you still got Israelites. That are top of the um, entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. You got Jake in his backyards doing a whole bunch of flips and stuff. Right. Jake is the best at everything we do. That's right. It's, a, it's in our spirit to be the best at everything we do. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit the Lord gave us to be above and better than all these other nations. God given talents, you know? Exactly. That's right. They want to be us, man. Mm -hmm. Above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Okay, above all the people that are upon the face of earth. So above all the people. You know, all these other nations, Yahweh Shema Shai has chosen the children of Israel to be above all of them. Mm -hmm. And it's that simple. It's that plain. It didn't say equal. It didn't say beneath. And it soon come, in the near future, you're going to see the children of Israel in their great power, the Spirit by Yahweh Shema Shai, ruling these other nations. You're going to mm -hmm. see why the Lord chose us to be above. Get on, um, since I said that, get on. Um, Exodus 19 and 5, and then 1 Chronicles 16 and 13. Kills all that, um, that equality nonsense, you know? Mm -hmm. Israel was chosen to be that uh, peculiar people, that special people above all nations, and then you got the elect within the elect of mm -hmm. the nation of Israel. Because uh, the nation of Israel is that elect nation created on the face of the earth, and then you got the elect within the elect. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, how about Shemel Shah? It's cold, yo. Okay, bro. This is the book of Exodus 19 and 5. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed mm -hmm. and keep my covenant, 
count, and that and that's what's gonna happen when we get the law, statute, and commandments put into our inward parts. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, in the kingdom of heaven, which is coming very soon, when Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna come back with the band of angels and put use heathen nations to death and um, round you up in the captivity. Right. Go ahead. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me mm -hmm. above all people. Come on, exactly what I say. In the kingdom of heaven, you're going to see that power and you're going to see how we're above all you heathens. Right. Go ahead. For all the earth is mine. All right, go ahead. Can you read it? Mm, verse 6. This is verse 6, Exodus 19 and 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests mm -hmm. and a holy nation. Yep, let's see what it's talking about. Go ahead. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So these are the words which were spoken to the children of Israel. Right. Now, you know, that's it. That's the breakdown pretty much. Right. Yahweh yeah, Shema Shah has chosen us to be the chosen nation. And it's going to be evident that we're the chosen nation when we get those spiritual bodies. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see our, our beautiful kingdom. That's right. So, um, is there any more than that, brother? Uh, that's it. Get First Chronicles 16 and 13. And then Isaiah 44. Man. It's the book of Second, I mean, First Chronicles. Mm -hmm. then, then as you finish with that, bro, get on, get on Second Ezra 7 and 10, too. Because, you know what I'm saying, we the chosen people, and you know what I'm saying, you already got it. I was holding that, Because, you know what I'm saying, we the chosen nation, you know what I'm saying, we that um, peculiar people, we that chosen people, we that holy people. Mm -hmm. And then the earth, you know what I'm saying, all these other surrounding planets, you know what I'm saying, and galaxies and all that, was created for Israel, man. That's right. You heathen nations, y'all going to find out, man, real soon that everything was created for Israel, man. I mean, everything. Yeah. That's right. Got it. Let me, I'm going to get that, I'm going to get that, because you quoted it perfectly. This is 2nd right. Ezra 7 and 10. Right. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Right. Because for their sakes, I made the world. See, the earth from no sin was created for the Hebrew Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. And you heathen nation was created to be our servants, man. Forever, man. Y'all going to forever serve us. Now, y'all going to have, y'all going to be given some land. You know what I'm saying? You know, things of that nature. But at the same time, y'all going to be on, what is it, tributaries? Yeah. Yeah, the name. On their, on their, on their yeah. tribute. On yeah. Y'all going to always be paying tribute to us, man. Just like mm -hmm. we're doing over here. You know what I'm saying? Just like we do for the so-called white man. I mean, it, it's going to be forever, man. You eat them much, y'all going to be done away with. You know what I'm saying? But you other heathen nations, y'all going to be tributaries forever, man. Y'all going to have your own land. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to go back to living. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. But at the same time, you know I'm saying, y'all gonna always be our servants, man. Forever, man. For all eternity, man. Because y'all was created to be that way, you know? For our sakes, man. We, we finally know the truth now, man. The earth was created for us, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why we get so pissed off when we see this devil, you know what I'm saying, polluting it. Trash every day. And well, you got a seat full of trash, man. You know what I'm saying? You got, you look, you got, um, you got, there's so much trash in there. I forgot, um, this, what was it, about the size of South Carolina? Um, no, it's like, um, I, th I think the brothers was bringing us like three, um, Europe's. You can feel like three Europe's. Bro. You can feel like, you know, three, mm -hmm. um, countries up in there. That's, it's, it's, it's huge. Bro, man, you gotta think man. on a daily how much trash. Right. Uh, average person can consume. Cons right. Consumption waste, you right. know? A, a restaurant alone. Yeah, you're right, though, bro, because at least think about New York and shit, you know, it's all that damn trash. They be on the sidewalks and shit every damn morning yeah, and shit. Bro. And they taking that damn trash and they putting it somewhere, you know what I'm saying, bro? They putting it somewhere. That's why That's why every time you go to, like, a lake or something, you know what I'm saying, you see a damn animal dead as hell, you know what I'm saying, from either swallowing the fucking trash or being wrapped up in a trap so it can't even go nowhere, you know? They go with the greediness of this devil because, you know, y'all this sand that you can make into glass. Right. But he wants you to he wants you to pay for plastic. Yeah. But he just recycles. <sighs> that dirty ass cup you're using. Well, we're not gonna go too off topic. Yeah, yeah. I got one more precept back on what you said because it's our it's our um blessing to basically have you other nations into captivity. Right. The most high literally gave it to us as a blessing as our inheritage. Mm -hmm. So you other nations, you're our heritage. You right, know? right. We're gonna inherit you in the right. kingdom of heaven. That's right. You know how um Jay got their uh, Esau might have their inheritance. Mm -hmm. They can't get to the eighteen. Right. Well, we can't get our inheritance until Lord Yahweh should I come back. Right. That's right. Man. This is Genesis twenty-seven and twenty-eight. Right. Therefore, the Most High gave thee 
the dew of heaven. Right. And the fatness of the earth. That's right. And plenty of, of corn and wine. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Let people serve thee. Right. And nations bow down to thee. And that's going to happen, man. Starting off with these Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs. They're going to be the first waves of slavery, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're going to bow to the children of Israel, man. You know? Yep. And that's part of our heritage, man. Our heritage um, is a possession. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's man, that was done, bro. Yep. It's part of being the chosen people of right. Yahweh by Shemel it's, right. it's part of Yahweh by Shemel choosing us to be his top nation on the earth. Right, right. Yahweh by Shemel chose the children of Israel, mm -hmm. gave them their law, statutes, and commandments, and then in turn, we will be the perfect example of how to live and how right. to be on the earth, and you will have to follow after us pretty mm -hmm. much. That's right, that's right. I'm going to finish out this scripture. Be lords over thy brethren. And let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Right. Cursed be every one that curseth thee. Right. And blessed be he that blesseth thee. Right. Oh, so you're going to have to pay tribute to the children of Israel forever, pretty yeah. much. Man. Yeah. Because we're going to be in power forever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Isaiah yeah, 45 and 17, please, man. Mm hmm. It's the book of 2 Chronicles 16 and 13. First Chronicles. Oh, just like it. This is the book of 1 Chronicles. 16 and 13. Mm -hmm. O ye seed of Israel, mm -hmm. his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Exactly. It's that simple. You know, these scriptures are right here are going to be pretty plain, mm -hmm. telling you who the chosen ones are. That's right. It's you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. Look at that Isaiah 41, 44, 1 oh, the show. Got it. Kind. This is the book of Isaiah 44 1. Yet now here, O Jacob, my mm -hmm. servant, Mm -hmm. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Mm -hmm. Khan, whom Yahweh by Shema Shai have chosen. Because right. we didn't choose to be his chosen. It's right. not like, it tells you that in Deuteronomy 7 and 7 pretty right. much. It goes into that. The Lord chose us because we were the least of all the nations. Right. You know, not because we were the greatest. You know, our nation started with Abraham pretty yep. much. Yep. And then, you know, the blessings went down. Yep, that's right. It's all because Yahweh Shimon and Shai did it. It's nothing that we didn't we didn't choose to be Israelites, yeah. you know. But we we sh we happy we are. That's right. I'm happy that we got this truth. That's right. right. And that Yahweh Shimon and Shai is gonna make us the rulers of the next um, world to come. Abraham is mm -hmm. part of the elect. Right. You know. And righteousness, you know. And righteousness, because right. we want to see a righteous world, and we want to see people get real food. Joe. Right. We want to see real air. Right. Drink real water. We want virgins, you know what I'm saying? Virgins. How much of whores going around? Right. A kingdom where the men are on top and not the women. Right. These women literally get to choose who they go with, yo. Right. Nah, man. How come? How come every guy I want to be friends with always right. wants to date me? Cause they ain't in it, man. That's not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be no friends with no guy. Right. Nah. You supposed to sit your ass home. Right. These women don't got no skills. No, none. That's why the Lord's chosen people got to come back and rule this planet. That's right. And that's why the Lord chose us to be the chosen. Because he was going to put his laws, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. And we're going to show these nations perfectly how to do it. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb, mm -hmm. which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. And thou, Jeserun, whom I have chosen. Kind of, exactly. Now get um, now go to Isaiah 41 and 8. Right. The book of Isaiah 41 and 8. Mm -hmm. But thou, Israel, art my servant. Yeah, you're so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're the servants of Yahweh by Shemel and Shai. Good. Jacob, whom I have chosen. Exactly. I mean, the scripture is going to repeat him so plenty of times. Get Psalms 105 and 6, Bible show. Because let me just say this right quick, bro. When it says Israel, my servant, the Israelites are the only ones going to be doing the service that you have by Shemel mm -hmm. Shai. Teaching his word. Only Israel can do it, man. See, this can't do what we do, man. Only Israel going to serve the Lord when it comes to doing the work, man. They, Teaching the Bible. They can't glorify the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right. The scriptures say his name is dreadful to the heathens. Right. So Yahweh Shema Shai has revealed unto his unto us his name. That's right. That's a great thing. You gotta think yep. and sit back. You know the the per the the entity 
the man. Right. You no, know, the Lord's a man of war, right? That's right. The man that created everything. Right. He gave us his name, yo. That's right. And, you know, his laws and the way he wants things to be run. Mm hmm the, it says scriptures say this is our wisdom inside of the nation. Right. Gave us a blueprint. Mm hmm. Right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 41 and 8. No, I'm sorry. You, you will finish that and uh, get that song on 105. Okay. The seed of Abraham, my friend. Oh, Khan, yep. The seed of Abraham. They know it went to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right. and then to the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. We're the seed. We're, we're the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's your history, you know? Right. right. That's where you come from. That's where we come from. That's right. Psalm 105, 8, right? Yes. Um, sorry, verse 6. 105 and 6. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 145, no. mm, chapter 105 and mm -hmm. 6. Mm -hmm. Negro. O thou seed, o, o ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. Mm -hmm. See? Exactly. There <laughs> it is again. Right. The Lord is about repetitiveness because you got these churches, you got these um, so-called pastors in these churches reading the scriptures, but they ain't, they, um, the Lord God is doing this lesson because they ain't coming out with the truth according to the Bible. Right. They're right. not bringing out who the Lord's chosen is. That's right. They all saying the Lord loves everybody. Right. God is love. Right. Yes. Right. But the entity that created all your emotions, how could he just be just one, you know? Why would right. God of love just create hate and violence and death and destruction? Right. On the, if he was all about love, why is there death and destruction on this planet? Because right. they believe in fairy tales, you That's know? That's right. I think right. the devil just came down. Like, man, if God created the devil, why didn't he jack his ass up in, right. in the heavens, right? Exactly. Why didn't he be his ass? Right. <laughs> right. Like, you gotta let your son rebel on you that right, hard. Right, you know? right, right. I took 30 angels, though. We gotta go right. make a rebellion. Yeah, right. Well, that. Yeah, Actually, no, right. I don't even sound right, you know what yo. I'm saying? No, Pops, I'm not listening to you, Pops. <laughs> Look, if there was a war, but God's all love. Why he even war? Right, like, exactly. You guys won. You guys, I know, right? You guys got go, it. Look, go torment the earth. <laughs> Here, Just leave man. us alone. Right, right. We want, <laughs> want, want it to be peaceful and havoc. Come on, man. Go, 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 run a havoc on the earth, no, nah, man. No, nah, that's why. That's why um, the Lord's prayer is, "Let Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven." Right. Because there's perfect order in the heavens. Yeah. We want perfect order to be down here on the earth. That's right. Uh, like I say, something, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Just like, um, just like you said, uh, how can the Lord uh, just be love, man? If the Lord was all love, then why does he have like earthquakes and tornadoes and stuff like that coming down here and killing a whole bunch of people at one time, man? Right. If he was all love, that seems like that sounds like judgment to me, man. Right. Don't nobody be smiling and giggling and laughing when earthquakes come, when right. hurricanes come, when tornadoes come, especially tornadoes, man. Right. Or the flood of monsoons exactly. and shit. Mud slides. Is oh, everybody man. laughing and giggling then? Forest fires, volcanoes. Yeah. You know, and lava, hot lava every day. Come on, man. That don't sound like love to me. Right. Nope. Psalms one. Go five and seven. Oh no, one thirty-five and four. That's all I want. One thirty-five and four. Yeah, that'd be the last one. This is the out. book of Psalms. One thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Verse four. Got you. This is the book of Psalms. One thirty-five, verse four. Mm -hmm. For the Lord have chosen Jacob unto Himself, mm -hmm. and Israel. For his peculiar treasure. Kind of. Let's get let's get why. Get Psalms 115 and 30. Gotcha. Let's get why the Lord chose Jacob. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 3. For mm -hmm. our power mm -hmm. is in the heavens. Our power, Yahweh is sitting on the throne in the heavens right now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he have done whatsoever he have pleased. God, he does whatsoever he please. Right. Yeah, that's all. That's it right there. Right. Yeah, how about Shema Shai does whatever, whatsoever he pleases, That's man. right. Right. He created the heavens and the earth and everything down here. Right. And how about Shema Shai is not going to have to answer to no one at that's the end right. of the day. That's he right. He does whatever he please. You know, that we can close it out. Yeah, plus, <laughs> plus I'm going to just quote a scripture, you know what I'm saying, the same thing, you know what I'm saying, in um, Romans 9. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Romans 9, 17? Yeah. I will have mercy on who I want to have mercy yeah, on. I was just thinking that. You know? Mm -hmm. So, hey, it is what it is, man. You have by Shemel Shai chose Israel. It is what it is, man. That's right. These heathens going to always be mad anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're going to always be mad. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is. They're going to love it in the kingdom more than they love it here, though. Right, yeah. Because they're going to be like, they're going to have, 
chase virgins. Yep. You know what I mean? It's yep. gonna be it's not gonna be, you know, somebody um like go man, it's just gonna be perfect. But yeah. it's not gonna be like this kingdom, yeah. man. Where you gotta worry about somebody looking at your woman. Yeah. It ain't gonna be like that, yeah. Yep. I got one more precept for you, Aki. Kind of, kind of. This is the book of First Samuel, twelve and twenty-two. Mm -hmm. For the Lord will not forsake His people mm -hmm. for His great name's sake. Exactly. Go ahead. Because it pleased the Lord to make you His people. Kind of, it pleased Yahweh by Shemuel Shai to make us His people. You know, mm -hmm. He's not gonna forsake us. You got all these pastors in the churches. You got these people who think Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is forsaking the children of Israel. I think not, my friend. That's right. If Yahweh by Shemuel Shai would forsake us, that would be like he can't forsake us. It's for His name's sake. Right. Right. Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. That's that's the reason why. You know. That's the reason why we're standing back on our feet in these last days. And we're soon coming and prove to you why we're the chosen. Right. It says you see, these sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're not, you know, y'all about you, man, so I didn't done away with us, man. Yeah. You know? Brothers, want to say anything else before we close down? No, that's because right there was just heavy, man. Please, you have about Shemel Shah to create us, man. Mm -hmm. And then the please you have by Shemel Shah to create these other nations to serve us. It's bad, yo. Yep, because that's our inheritance. Right. You know? We're going to hear that very soon. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's Bible verse 16, chapter. All right. Before we, go, um, before we go any further, you know, we'll give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors our apostles and elders of great most so for teaching us the truth according right. to the Bible and rule well. Right. And forgiveness to the correct breakdowns and peace and blessings to the hopeful of the nation of Israel. Right. Until next time, Shalom. 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 Stay strong.